Union is located on 300 South in Salt Lake City, which is also known as Broadway. And since emerging on the restaurant scene downtown, Ryan Lauder's Copper Onion has been the star of the show. Ryan Lauder, chef and owner, has traveled the world in his culinary education, but still finds an American-style restaurant a true inspiration. Are you ready to paint your palate copper? Wow. We've got to taste copper onion. Let's get tasty. So Clint, we would consider you the area general manager, the general manager of the copper group. Correct. I help oversee operations and service for all three of our locations, Copper Onion, Copper Common, uh, both in Salt Lake City and then Copper Kitchen in Holiday. I had the opportunity to open the restaurant as a server and just work through the growth of the entire group. As far as hiring, what do you look for? You know, we like to look at who they are individually. I mean, as important as it is for us to have good cooks or good servers or bartenders, um, we need good people more than anything else and we can train them on the rest. I've always felt like the beauty's in the simplicity. We're doing rustic food, we're doing it well, and I feel like it's the consistency of everything that we do. I'm standing behind the chef counter in the kitchen where very few diners actually get to go with the one and only owner and chef, Mr. Ryan Lauder. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I grew up in Salt Lake. I moved to Portland, Oregon. From there, that took me to New York City. Went to Barcelona from there. Spent some time in Cali, Colombia. Now, here I am. Homegrown, traveled the world, and still you find an American-style restaurant most inspiring? Absolutely. We attract the construction worker in a baseball cap who wants a burger and a Lagunitas. Yes. But we also attract the four-inch heel who wants a nice piece of fish and a good glass of wine. Beef stroganoff, a copper onion, a signature. signature dish. We're gonna take some scallions. We're gonna take some garlic, just shaved lightly. We're gonna take a bit of butter, a little bit of salt and pepper, cremini mushrooms, and some portobello mushrooms. We'll take our pasta, our house-made pappardelle, drop it in our pasta cooker. So we're just gonna reduce this down. So Beautiful. it's the beef stock and the cream in there. See how this is kind of creaming up and thickening? Yeah. That's good. Once it gets a little thicker, it's gonna stick to the pasta and really kind of hold on. We're gonna keep cooking that down. See how the sauce is kind of gone now? That's the key. We're going to finish it with a little bit of our house creme fraiche. The few chives right here. Wow. Voila. The food's fantastic. And I have learned from Ryan over the years to just ignore whatever biases I have about food because everything is gonna be good. Because of the small plates that are available, you can make it easy for a big group to explore. I probably eat too frequently the Cast Iron Mary's chicken. It's fantastic. It's also a great thing against which to benchmark um, against other restaurants because a lot of them have it. And there's nothing that comes even remotely close to as good as, as it is here.